Time to put the triple back together. Got the ball bearings all sitting in the, I guess you could say the race again. Holding in there with a little bit of grease, just to, you know, two things. One, to make sure that the balls don't just fall off, the grease will hold them in there. And then two, you know, you can never have too much grease when you're repacking a bearing. Like you really can't have too much. Behooves you. I love that word. To uh, get as much of that crap in there as possible. And that's exactly what I'm doing. Packing the hell out of it. So. I got that going. And I want to... I want to do next. I want to make sure that this is held in place when I push it up in there, so I think I should get this, these spacers ready. Here's the top race bolt, or not the bolt, the cover, and I just want to make it so when I repack this at the top that, uh, Actually, you know what? I, sh I can do that right now. Pack that up. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll pack this in. Now. Just because why wait, right? Smearing a little grease. Up in there. Now, I could have modernized it, got some uh, roller bearings, and not have to worry about the pachinko machine every time I decide to um, every time I decide to open up the, uh, the stem again, but you know what, this is just fine. There's no need to, to go crazy. I mean, unless it was broken, then I would, you know, get a conversion kit from all balls and all that stuff and spend 30 bucks. But, you know. You don't have to. Why bother? So, those are all greased up. So now I'm going to find all my ball bearings and lay them all in the top of the neck there. Or head, I guess you could say. I don't know. Whatever you call it. I'm going to lay all my ball bearings in there. And then I'm going to put my cap, my race cap or bearing cap, whatever you want to call it, on top of that. And then that should make everything cool. Is all this out of focus because of that back door? Probably, but I don't care because no one watches this stuff anyways. All right, everything's packed in. Let's time to slide this bad boy in there. First, let's get this cap on here. Smush it all down in there. Cool. Now, just the last little bit of greasing is the, uh, what do I call this? The stem itself. You grease this stuff up, the better, you know, the more life you're going to get out of it. And, you know, with this sort of thing, it's a bit of a pain in the ass to take this stuff off. Like, you got to remove a lot of the bike in order to get this steering stem off or do any sort of repair to your triples so you know might as well just make sure it's done right the first time so you don't have to do it again so now that that's all greased up let's slide her in my hands are gross but let's be careful because I don't want to knock out any balls I'm holding the upper race in place. I get this in here. Smush it down. Alright. Now, let's get the lock nut in there. Actually, I, should get, I think it's the cap first. And then, the, yeah, and then the lock washer. Or lock nut, if you want to call it that. Alright. 
So now that that's in there. Check and see if the movement's good. It is. Awesome. There'll be some excess grease in there, so. Whatevs. Um, let's see. I'm gonna make sure that I'm not missing any parts here. Could check the manual. Necessary. So then this guy goes over the top. And then this over there. You know, it's probably that guy on top, and then maybe. I don't know. You know what? I'm actually going to go and check the, uh, the parts fish and make sure that. That's the correct order. I know that this is the correct order. That the, the cap and then the nut. So it's got these little notches in there and it's for you to take a, put a screwdriver in there and a hammer and bang it in there. And that's how you tighten it up. And really, you just get it tight as shit. I don't know the torque setting on it. Screwdriver, hammer. Just keep going until it doesn't want to tighten up anymore. It's probably about it. Yeah. Ugh. Maybe a little too tight. No, nope. that's good. Moves well. Let's make sure it's not loose. You can never be too sure. Yeah, that's in there. That moves nice. And just check one more time. Still moving a bit, so good thing that I triple check. This is moving nice now. Yep. So let me take a look at the parts diagram to see um, with this top nut that holds the upper clamp in place, you know, what the order is. I think it's regular washer and then the domed washer and then the nut. So let me just make sure and then also off camera I'm going to polish this up a little bit because yeah, yeah, it can be polished so I'll polish it. Well, I checked and made sure, and sure enough, uh, the two washers go on top of the, the top triple clamp. That's as far out as it goes. That's better, right? Yeah, sure. So now, next step is to put on the uh, forks, because I want to tighten this top nut up, and I need to make sure that these are in line in order to do that. Best way to do that is put the forks on. So first thing I gotta do, let's see if there's a difference here between forks. It really doesn't look like there's a difference. It looks like they made the uh, looks like they made the forks identical. There's a caliper there's a rest for the caliper on each side. Yeah. All right, whatever. But what I gotta do first is I gotta put these new fork seals on. 
Oh. Well, I don't need the actual seal seal because that's still in there and it's not leaking or anything. I just need these little caps and they're stupid easy to install. You can just slide them off. I will keep those seals for later because I'm sure that they're used on other motorcycles. And if I got the extra parts, that's always good. Make sure these are on all the way. Yep. Man, that's a nice looking fork, huh? All polished up. And shiny and new. Like new. Like new condition. Where'd that other one go? There's a little bit of surface rust on the fork tube on the fork fork tubes themselves. Uh, take those off. We'll take that off with some fine steel wool. Just like everything else. It's like the new best thing in my toolkit is fine steel wool. So now the caps are on, slide them up, making sure that the orientation of these bolts is facing inside the wheel because that's where the front fender gets mounted so you don't want those inside out. So slide you up in here with making too much of effort. There we go. I think because I painted it, it's a little bit more difficult to, to get in there. It's probably what it is. So what I'm going to do is that yeah, bunk. The clamps, the bottom clamps, I'm just going to get a... Uh, screwdriver in there and just open them up a little bit make the forks a little bit easier to slide out Open a little bit more and then slide it back on. It should be a lot easier now. If I can get the right angle. Oh, oh yeah, much easier. And there's the top. Cool. There's one. And it looks like it's sliding away. Yeah, well, just stay put for a second. I'm going to assume this guy needs to be opened up a little bit too. So we'll go ahead and just do that. Get out of there. There we go. There's two. Cool. Fork tubes are in. So now I just need to put some screws in here so that the tubes at least hold in place for a little bit. I think it's these guys. No, it's not. Maybe it's you guys. Yes, it is. Where is my Is this a 10? Of course not. Just 
tighten it up with a wrench because I don't want to go and grab the other one. All right, maybe I should. Hang on a sec. The right tools always make the job easier, so. I'm just gonna tighten up one side, or just the top clamps, just to hold it in place, and we'll tighten it up for good later. Where's my lock washer? The smaller one. I'll find you, lock washer, wherever you are. That'll fit. Now, before the bike, before I put on the front wheel, because I still have to, well, I could put on the front wheel, but I don't want to put the wheels on yet because I'm still waiting on the rear brake shoes and I want to put all the wheels on at once so I gotta wait and I gotta swap the front tire on the uh yeah I gotta swap the front tire duh so now that these forks are in I'm looking good now I can tighten up this top nut here and See if I can get. I don't really look at the torque setting for this one. I just kind of make it as tight as possible. Actually, let me get a. Let me get an actual socket on it. BRB. Okay, I found it. It's a 27 millimeter. That'll do her. So let's just get this as tight as humanly possible. Make sure the steering's locked so I can really crank down on it. Now that's in there. Phew. Uh, I'm not worried about that falling off. I'm gonna crank the shit out of it. Uh, all right, what's next? Obviously, I'm gonna tighten up all the bolts later. Just do a final run through. But for now, I just want everything back in its home. Yeah, that's it. That's a home. squared away later and I think the only other things I want to mount up here right now are the uh, risers I think that's about it and since I'm here I might as well put on these little dust booty caps on top of the fork that are apparently really good at trapping moisture because the inside, the tops of those forks are really, really, really rusty. Alright, let me go grab the risers. I'll put those on next. But man, doesn't that look good? 
pretty good, huh? Let's put the risers on next. Slide in from the top. Let's get all the all the hardware down here in there. And the one side takes a ground wire. Where did I put that? There it is. This is a basically a redundant. Uh, it's a redundant. You know, it's just another ground for the wiring harness. So you can probably do without it, but you know, I'd rather just get it all back. To, you know, I don't want to have anything left over. So the bottom of these risers, get these little domed caps just so that it's easier to you know put all the bolts and stuff on there because if you try tightening up strictly against the uh, you know the, the bushing you're not gonna have that good of a time so let's okay just wanna make sure I'm not forgetting anything be sure it's just yeah so I believe this was on the left side here. So I'll just leave it. Lock washer and a bolt and a nut. I mean, because I know the difference between a bolt and a nut. For realsies. And just get it in the right positioning. I'm not going to tighten it up for realsies until a little bit later because I want to be able to still move this around um, and it's a little cumbersome to move around with the handlebars on so I'm gonna keep those off uh, for a little while longer just until you know I get the I can I can do like final assembly you know when I have all the uh, when I have all the you know where I can put the rear wheel on and you know take take care of it all at once and I'll do that and then also at the end of these um, they have an opening for a cotter pin so you gotta remember to put those on as well And also, you really don't want to be tightening these things down all the way. For the same reason, I didn't tighten the top nut for the fork, um, for the triples until the forks were on there. Because you tighten it up, you know, it's it's going to be kind of off-center a little bit. So having the bar in there, you can torque it down and uh, not have to worry about it being uneven. It's going to take the right shape or take the right alignment. Okay, let's just stick. I think I'm going to clean up these uh, riser mounts, or riser bolts here, because these look pretty grody. I'm going to see if I can clean these up a little bit. And also, I'm running out of battery, so I guess I should stop there. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace these bolts um, for the risers. The handlebar clamp bolts mainly because you know I can clean them up a little bit but there's still like for this one for example the chrome plating is has come off and to be honest with you you know the stuff that the rider is going to be looking at every single time they're on the bike controls handlebar you know everything in this area of the bike I want it to look as good as possible you know because and to be honest it's Replacing these bolts is just a trip to Ace Hardware, and all these bolts will probably cost me two bucks. So it's well worth it to you know do it right. Um, but yeah, I think that's it for now. I might put on the swing arm, but I'm running out of battery, so I might save that for tomorrow. <laughs>